Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new War Dragons video. So I know I'm getting three videos out today. Um, I'm grinding. I have to get this video out before the treasure hunt phase ends. Um, and this will be the guide for Team Gauntlet. Honestly, in my opinion, one of the worst um, major events out there currently. It's just so boring for high levels, and I'll explain why. Um, but yeah, so this is a major event. It's a two-phase event. The first phase is called the treasure hunt phase, which I get a lot of people asking, like, why can't I start attacking for another day? It starts on Wednesday, right? Um, so minor events do not minor. So that's breeding, um, feeding event now and fortification. Those are minor events. And that, by the way, um, that's, I don't call them that. That's just the term that they use. There's no treasure hunt phase. Those starts on Wednesdays. The major events are like King of the Hill and any other PvP event, um, and those will have a treasure hunt phase, which is an out sorry a day long period where you can just farm up chests. Now you can use a base called Lego X Sun sorry X Lego Sun S O N X so X L E G O S O N X, um, and you can use that to farm chests all you want. I did a video on that. Finally, fi finally found chess bases. Um, I believe that was the title. So, getting into this video, how do you score points? So, you'll notice that there are 14 little islands. So, if in the far left corner, in the top left corner, you'll notice that there is a small little baby island. And that is where every single team starts. All these islands are not unlocked from the very beginning of the event. This middle island right here, that looks kind of like, it's like two eyes. Um, I don't know. I feel childish. Like a baby island and then two... Uh, island like looks like two big eyes. I don't know. Um, so yeah, so you kind of work your way through the chain of islands. Now you'll notice like the pathway by the like little um, dash marks, the gray ones, and you follow basically, and it gets the islands slowly get bigger and bigger until you get to the main island. Now the reason why I personally hate this event is because the smaller islands obviously give you a lot less points per attack. I think it starts like a level, uh, I think it's like 25 points per attack or something like that. Maybe it's like 100. Um, the final island, however, gives you 810 or like 870 points per attack or something like that. Um, I think that might be with inner fires. So it's obviously your goal as a team is to get as far as possible. Now, I get a lot of questions. You'll notice in like the middle of this water and the like t kind of middle, it says PVP in less than 21.1 hours. Now, PvP is really what makes the world go around. This is where you get a lot of points. So if you want to be one of the top teams in the league, and I actually get a question about this a lot, you know, what are team um, tactics, which I need to incorporate more, use these PvP islands. These right here are non-PvP. All these islands are um, computer-generated bases. They're really easy. Like, <laughs> it's fairly easy to beat them. I might actually do, like, if you want to see this, let me know in the comments, but I will go through and I'll, like, I'll show you what level dragons can take out what islands, so you guys kind of know what you can do, um, to beat them. I might actually do that. That would actually be really cool. I don't think anyone's do that. I actually, he's done that before. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that, actually. Yeah, I think, like, videos on the fly. Man, so many video ideas. So, yeah, PvP is basically where there's a certain amount of, um, HP on an island that belongs to you and also an enemy team only one enemy team so it's you versus one other and these like the enemy team that you're facing will circulate through the team uh, sorry through the league um over the course of the event so it'll be different almost every single time so how you get the most points is that you kill so you destroy their enemy island quicker the hp on it quicker than they destroy yours so i think it's like thirty-two thousand hp and whoever gets that amount of HP down to zero first gets a ton of victory points, way more than any other of these bases. So PvP islands are going to be crucial if, for for one, it gets you a lot of indi individual points, but also it gets your team a lot of points, and that's, you know, really what matters a lot. Um, and yeah, so just remember that. Now, as in terms of how do you get the best amount of points, so there's a couple ways to boost the amount of points that you get. One is inner fires. Now, I've mentioned this in so many of my videos. Um, so the best way to get points is 100% boost via inner fires. Now, you basically equip inner fires because 
I, I don't think a lot of people know this. Um, so you go to your boost, and like you're equipping any other thing, you'll notice this little thing. It says inner fire right there, and you click on it. Now, whenever you attack, you'll notice that like it will go down to 136 when I use it, um, and that will give me a 100% bonus my next attack, and it'll keep going until you run out. Obviously, you cannot equip it at any time. The voice seriously doesn't match. Guys, like, what in the world, fam? <laughs> Man. So, yeah, you can use that as well as the bonus meter. Now, the bonus meter, I'm not actually sure what it goes up to. Uh, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's like 75% or something. Oh, no, 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 maximum of 50%. Wow. Um, and that is basically, the bonus meter, it will continue increasing as you attack. But if you don't attack for 30 minutes... Then it goes back to zero. So the best tactic is if you want to be like super, you know, low key overpowered is sure. So you see an PVP um, island coming up in, let's say, like two hours. What you do is you fill up your energy to 16. Maybe it's not full. Maybe it's like zero. Buy some energy and attack it once every 23 minutes. Sorry, 27 minutes. Now, the reason why I say 27 is because even if you're in an attack, even if you're in an attack and it hits 30, so let's say you are about to kill the final um, like tower on an island with the attack, but the attack doesn't go through, and it's like 29.9 you know, seconds until it starts, sorry, until it ends, the bonus meter will reset anyway. You have to finish an attack within 30 minutes. So starting three minutes early just gives it enough time for there's like there's no server lag. So you can just do that, and that's a very easy way. Now, I see a lot of people go saying, you know, how can I use less energy packs? So the best bang for your buck is buying 100 energy for 10 energy packs. That's just overall the best way. Now, what you can do is, let's say you're not going to do it today. Um, let's say I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do it Friday because I have a bunch of stuff going on. Well, I would buy 100 I would buy 100 energy on Friday anyway. So on Saturday, I can do 200 energy for 20 energy packs in total because I'd buy 100 energy for 10 today or well Friday and then Saturday I'd buy another 100 for 10 energy packs instead of if I wait till Saturday only and I buy 100 energy once with 10 and then let's say I finish it I want to keep going I would have to use 19 for another 100 because again that that amount of energy um, packs required to get the 100 energy um, increases incrementally with the amount of um, time to use it. So you'll be wasting nine energy packs that you really don't have to waste. Um, and yeah, so just remember that. In terms of, you know, team strategy other than that, it's just really, if you want to boost your bases, I mentioned previously, if you are, like, above level 100, put one tower that's level, like, 11. That won't give an attacker much percentage, um, just on the front of your base, because it makes it go take a lot longer for them to attack. Like, you know, if you want to annoy someone in your league, like, let's say you have, um, like, I don't know, Dreadnought. No, not Dreadnought. Um, they would farm you for it. Um, just, like, another, if, let's say, a team is, you know, being annoying in lead chat, and you really just want to, you know, get on their nerves, you just put a tower up front. It's so funny. Um, people got, like, people got on me last time I said that, because they're, like, that's not, like, that's not very, you know, nice and whatnot, but, you know, this is called War Dragons, fam. Like, you're going to attack people, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. If you want to be annoying like that, it's always a good idea. As a leader, I would never say, unless you're, like, a super top Sapphire team, don't say people boost your bases. Because it used to actually decrease the amount of points you got um, if you actually boosted your base. Now that they removed that, honestly, the thing is, is that... Every single base, unless you're at level 350-something with all level 47 towers, can be beaten pretty easily with any dragon. Not easily, but it can be beaten with dragons. And actually, speaking of, if you want, like, a, you know, super advanced tip um, from, like, the Pentagon, you don't have to 100% a base to get max points. All you have to do is get 70%, and you still get the max points in this event. By the way, like, just PSA. Um, not PSA like Plano Sports Academy, like PSA as public service and amount of service, public, wait, wait, actually, what is it? Public service and amount, I don't know, <sighs> this one, not police officer, um, yeah, so just letting you guys know, in this event, I don't know if it's in other ones, I'm not sure, I don't think so, 
But this one, if you get 70% or more on a PvP island base, you will get max points. Um, just letting you guys know. So it actually goes a lot quicker. So you don't have to mess with, like, the farms and whatnot normally. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty good strategy. Um, and I see a lot of people doing that. Now, this, speaking in terms of how you can help your teammates, and let's say you have zero energy packs, but you have 700 inner fires, which I know people who have that issue. What you can do is you can back your teammates. Um, and the way inner fires work is it actually gives 100% um, point to you if you use it. But let's say you back a teammate and you use inner fire. You won't get any points, but your teammate will get 100% or double the amount of points that they would. So it actually stacks. So just letting you guys know, if you want to do that, um, you can use up to three dragons on your own attack and get 300%. Um, and yeah, don't use super attacks, by the way. I'm not sure if it works with this event, but don't. It's a bad idea. Unless you're, like, super pressed for time, don't do it. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments below by leaving a like. Um, again, guys, let me know if you want to see, like, me going through all those islands and showing you guys what level dragons you need to complete it. Um, I haven't seen that on YouTube yet, so I might do that anyway, even if you guys don't ask. Um, you know, hashtag YOLO. So, yeah. If you have not checked out, by the way, my uh, face reveal video. Face reveal video. Like, not spoiling anything, but I did it um, earlier today. So let me know, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.